Greetings everyone, and great here with another Donald 4 2 Elite Mod replay. Spawn as South Side as the Plague Champion with Zero Cry. Spawn as the Eversaur Assassin. We have Mostafa. Spawn on our top right or just right side as Lictor Alpha. We got Beastie or Bestie. And spawn the Eversaur Assassin with Bruce Pump Ball. I am for some requisition points. Got this power point and requisition point being captured up. Building turrets every single game makes it about as fun as playing Silver uh, Sky Silver 2. I guess they're fighting against a lot of turrets beforehand. Like champions can deploy out turrets, right? Is it Elixir Alpha can deploy out those hive notes or is it a. Uh, is it Ravener Alpha? Either way, we do now have the. Eversaur Assassin starting to gauge the Eversaur Assassin. The Eversaur Assassin does back away from the Eversaur Assassin. And now we've got the Strike Squad engaging the Eversaur Assassin. As we've got the Strike Squad trying to advance towards the Eversaur Assassin. This Eversaur Assassin does get grabbed by the Lictor Alpha. And the Eversaur Assassin does go down. Nice early pick there. Do not get the Inquisitor Stormtroopers being pursued by the Strike Squad. As we've got the Strike Squad now pursuing the Inquisitor Stormtroopers. Look to Alpha and Hormagons and Hormagons and Hormagons have been playing field. We've got a lot of Hormagons on the field. You should see a lot of Termagons. And over here, do got a Chaos Marine and a Heretic Squad. So we've got three squads, three squads, for two squads, and two squads. So we're designing for a bit more of a heavy composition. Something involving a bit more heavy power. Now we've got the Hormagons trying to eat those Plague Marines. Black Grenades does connect, but only connects with the. Uh, Lictor Alpha, it does get those uh, own bodies infected there. And now we got the Termagons or Hormagons trying to eat the Plague Marines so they fall back. Strike Squad has captured the points, so has Inquisitor Stormtroopers. And Hormagons go push before, they may start fighting some of these power generators. And Strike Squad and Inquisitor Stormtroopers. Well, a good idea to keep the requisition point and start getting the requisition flowing. Strike squad swing over here on the under the Hormagon squad. We've got also got the Chaos Marine and Heretics. Hormagon squad will need to fall back relatively soon. Start to pair up the power generator as well with the Heretic squad. Over here, do not have the Inquisitor Stormtroopers here, as well as the Strike Squad engaging the Inquisitor Stormtroopers. Purgaton Squad does get some good suppression there in the Strike Squad. Now we've got Interceptor Squad now be on the field queue, as well as a Noise Marine. Chaos Marines and Heretics. Strike Squad here, Eternal War upgrade onto the Chaos Marines. Strike Squad does fall back there. Got a ritual here for a bit of health regen for his uh, Chaos Marines that are a little bit wounded. The digestive juices of Nurgle himself shall be. He has no need of that. I just heard dissect uh, upgrades, so, but I think the Plug Shapes upgrade has stopped. He is going to take time to revive his buddy. Very good. And over here, you got the Lictor Alpha now trying to eat the Noise Marines. Noise Marines in the fall back. They don't do well in melee. It's just Electro Alpha trying to eat them. Got the Warrior Brood here as well. He's gone for the Wubs. There we go. Got a nice knockback there. We're going to squad advance and forward. Gets good damage onto the Hormagon squad. Eric squad is going forward with Crystal Storm Troopers and the Chaos Marines squad here. Norris Marines trying to soft retreat away. Gets good suppression there onto Electro Alpha. Can only deactivate the point there. That's the lowest priority target. I. He does a flight grenade that was cast there. Got a massive AoE effect from the Purgaton squad as well. And it looks like all of these squads are falling back. Massive flight grenade as well. Actually, that uh, poison cloud was the pheromones. Grants the ability, pheromone cloud ability that reduces damage of enemy units in target area by 30%. Allows the allied infantry units to reinforce. I'm assuming, does that mean the Faribone Cloud allows it to be reinforced? Or does that mean the Elicta Alpha can be a permanent reinforcement point? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Plague Champion now being upgraded with the Plague Sword. I do like that upgrade. It allows to get zombies. And I think zombies are fun. They meant the boogie. 
We do not have these interceptor squad, strike squad, crystal soul troopers, and the F system upgraded the eviscerator axe. Also, grants the kill zone ability, increases melee skill by and melee damage of allied infantry. And we've also got the Skyfin Blood Gloves. Increases health, health regen, reduces the duration and health cost of the Cyclone ability. The Cyclone? Cyclone? I haven't pronounced it. Every source has an upgrade upgrade. Every source has an upgrade of the Cyclone Bloody Body Glove as well. But this one does fall back, just getting outnumbered. Behind her hit this. Urinid Force is trying to eat some more power generators. This one has been reactivated. Not much damage on the other ones. No Sergeant upgrades there onto the Inquisitor Stormtroopers for more grenades. Now I got another Chaos Marine Squad point field. This actual squad does get a nice teleport forward and does fall back nice and early. Oh my god's trying to eat them on the retreat. And we've got more Crystal Stormtroopers here with the Sergeant Upgrade. Plague Champion getting knocked around a bit. Maybe ready to throw the Plague uh, Grenade, Light Grenade right there. Let's get some good damage there. It does fall back nice and early. And he will go down. He's selling that to his teammate. The Plague Champion. The Zyvar Rhino. The lookout sauce has also is on the next tier. Except the squad does jump forward, so see quite, is quite low in health. Does get the gloves there. He needs to fall back. The squad see a bit too much damage there. The Expo Assassin does find a melee hit there. He may be able to skip out of there. Yes, he will. Like James push him forward. There's a maven a squad wipe right there. He does lose a squad of chaos or his heretics. Those are the least important thing to lose. And now his clutch team does fall back as well. Do not get the absolute session charging forward. We'll see a bit of damage there. It does see a nice little knockback. Got some pressure forward. This squad's still quite damaged. Look out, seems quite a bit damaged. Does rebuild a generator. Could go down. Got a nice Purgaton squad. Gains great suppression there. Does receive a grenade, however. Those are straight forward. Maybe I put some blocks there to save the power generators. Does knock them back. Chaos Marines need to start hitting these other forces. Flight grenade has to get cast. He's a good AoE damage. And damage all the time. Burgundy squad does fall back along with his uh, buddies. The rest of these power generators have, will hold. Macy's and melee hits there. Does get himself a zombie. Down to 13 2, 0 health. Nice little wipe there. Wormagons, in my opinion, don't really scale too well, so losing it's probably a bit of a minor loss, but it is the majority of his composition at the moment. Right now, upgrade of the Heavy Bolt turret, not much way forward. Do not tier 2 being reached by the other players. Do have a zone throw not being pulled out by the Lictor Alpha. And the extra test is a bit of damage there. Because after the squad advance forward, being upgraded the just the car. Just these forces to capture some points. Asking if his teammates at tier 2. Both of them are. We've got a Rhino being put on the field. He's like, we're going to upgrade that last cannon. I'm guessing we've got two zone throws on, actually on the field. Bold uh, prediction there. Do not have the Rhino being put on the field. Likely last cannon out on the way. But that's just an assumption on mine. Those Marines not getting tied up in melee by the Lictor Alpha. And he may be eyeing for some whoops. There's the whoops. Zone of those straight forward. May need to fall back to Noise Marines relatively soon. The high Lictor Alpha does go down. Does get a black grenade off. Gains good AoE damage. Does get infected over there. And does lose one of the models there. May lose the other one. And there goes the Noise Marines. Actually, a big loss there. 
Now we've got the Noxious Cloud on their tree path. We may see more Hormagons to be actually get wiped out. Hang on. Yep, one of the Hormagons just got wiped out. Up here, Rhino face him forward with the last kin upgrade. We'll find Strike Squad and the Episode Assassin there. Now got the ritual there, being upgraded chain axes. I do like seeing the chain axe upgrades. It also gives him a melt pistol. He has an anti-vehicle weapon. Best keep him at range. Oh wait, no, it's the Spiron Champion that's melt pistol, so it doesn't have the Spiron Champion for the field. He is now getting research with the Spiron Champion. He does throw a black grenade there. To, he does dodge it. Very nice. Spire Champion has some point view. Now he has some melt pills to fight against that Rhino. It should do, should do decent damage there. We've got now the black grenade effect still lingering. Now that squad does fall back there. Strike squad between four. These forces are falling back. We got the episode assassin in the Strike Squad squad still trying to case his force there. Rhino's almost down, see quite a bit fire there, trying to be prepared up by these and the source torture looking tight up and being bent from moving around. The strike squad now should take the crystal storm troopers. Got this rhino now trying to pursue the rhino. And now the strike uh crystal sword trooper squad squad falls back. Now the last can get a hit there onto the rhino. And there it goes. Gonna throw up and look out for not pushing over here. Let's find a grab there on one of the strike squad members. Strike squad now getting the strike squad. We also now do have the episode set with Neuro Gauntlet. Strike squad does fall back there. Strike squad here may actually get wiped out. Does get wiped out there. Rhino seems to be a fire there. Like Jimmy has been upgraded with the armor pestilence. And the plasma uh, melt of pistols gains good damage there. Game ball is 25 damage per shot. And goes down. But the Alpha seemed a bit damaged there. And now the Chaos Marine squad does fall back nice and early. With the Alpha size and over half health, we've got the Terminal Gaunt squad falling back as well. White Grenade does connect. Eversource Assassin does go down. He does have the shield generator up on the zone of throws. Warrior Brew does see a nice little hit there. Now he's trying to recover his buddy. He may not get it. There's a lot of damage coming out onto him. He does get the, his buddy recovered. He's a full back. And does go down himself. Does got a Warrior Brew model here. Now he's going to pick up his buddy. The war brood model does go down, so we've got the chain axis here as well. I think it's maybe we may have them both up for the chain axis. Yes, they do. He also the squad of bloodlust has a heavy melee force. And now we've got the crystal storm or the episode assassin falling back. Crystal storm troopers, of course, crystal storm troopers got a conversion beamer here as well. That may have been a little bit of overkill, and plus, this new has already killed off that rhino. We also got another rhino to pull on the field. Has been seeming to focus on VPs. And now I got a header squad being plotted field. He may be eyeing for some rituals, maybe some shrines. Okay. Except the squad does teleport forward. And we'll be able to get some good damage around the strike squad. Look, the Alpha Dedicator is still down. If I were to go this, 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 and now it has returned. We do not have the Chaos Marines on base board. This fresh Rhino has no care of the heavy bolt turret there, but we've seen lots of fire from the Nota pistols. Warrior Brood and Chaos Marines now engaging melee. Both of the Chaos Marines are seeing a bit of extra damage there. Got a pilot overcharged plasma shot there. This gets a good damn friendly fire damage. The champion does fall back. Now these crystal soldiers do fall back as well. Rhino is in private danger trying to get repaired up in combat. Got multiple units trying to save him. There's a chaos in the squad there. Being upgraded, being re upgraded to the Spiron Champion. First Beaver does get forced back. 
that Chaos Moon Squad does need to fall back. Version Beamer right there. Chaos Marines. Got a one less model. Pretty Chaos Ritual in the area gives him extra health regen. But it looks like overall he has a little escape. Chaos Magic should be shortly following. When the models do detonate, that's actually like another ritual there to get the all those extra health regen. And the Rhino does go down there to the Eversaur Assassin. Eversaur Assassin does go down as well. Squad. Now I'm trying to get to strike squad. We've got the two social troopers here. Upgrade of plasma guns and with their dress cars. No sergeant upgrade onto them? Doesn't appear to be. That's gonna cast there by the strike squad. Gates here is now trying to tie up the strike squad of melee. Got four guns here to support. The pillar tower going up. And zone of getting some great damage on those social stormtroopers, not forcing them back. I've got some chosen Plague Marine Squad field. More melee forces here. The Warrior Mercy quite a bit damage there. Nice uh, Blight Grenade there. I think one of those squads may have just got wiped out. And that, another squad does get wiped out as well. We've got the Chaos Marine Squad going down. Warrior Root falling back. You see the case of damage there. Heritage Squad down to minimal health. That's going to damage there. Do have some zombies going up? This is actually a zombie zone throw. That's actually one one thing that went down. One of the zone throws went down to the chosen plague marines. Does this expire there? The Lifter Alpha has lost a large number of forces there. Down to one horn, we got one zone throw, one warrior brood. Up here, the plague chamber has lost quite a bit as well. Lost the heretic, lost the chaos marine squad. Strike squad does teleport, or interceptor squad does teleport away. Now it's a mix of all the fight here. Our squad does fall back. They've got something for there. Well, they're just teleporting forward. And we've got the Stormtroopers falling on back, so it's a strike squad as well. And so Assassin does fall back. And the well, they're still trying to get engagement here. Let's get a good detonation there, forcing back these squads. Oh, here we've got now the Warrior Brood now ripping apart the power generator. Do you have. Is that another Rhino or is it the same Rhino? Nope, now it's seeing massive amounts of fire there. And Conversion Beamer does take it out. That must have been a max range shot there. Yep. Chaos Marines do fall back. Oh, that's the Chosen Plague Marines. Now, I do have another Rhino being plotted on field for some odd reason. More Gene Steelers and both their opponents going for Tier 3. Against the Mountain of Heavy Melee they're fighting against. A Predator with Nurgle Variant wouldn't be half bad. A Terminator's Lightning Claws wouldn't be half bad. Uh... Great Knight Terminators, or no, Paladins are the melee ones, but it'd be half bad. We're gonna see a massive engagement here, led by the Chaos Space Marines. Warrior Brood will engage, knocking back the Strike Squad there. Black Grenades will throw. Does dodge it there, but we'll run to the damage of the effect on the ground. Another game there, good cast there. It's really hard to tell what's going on. There's just so much green everywhere. Right up this way forward, we've got the personal storm troops getting some good damage over here. We've now got the chosen plague marines charging forward. Build the tower going on up. 
more plague effects there. Got the noxious cloud here. I think red is starting to disintegrate. Wall of itself is oh so wounded. Ugh. The lifter alpha is down to a warrior brood in zone of throat. Uh, something may die there that may just more zombies. Frozen Plague needs to fall back. Let's get the Plunging Sailors all his forces there. I think Devon's Recession may have lost something. Warrior Brood is down just to... He lost all of his Gene Sealers. He had three squads of Gene Sealers, didn't he? Now he's zero. Plague Champion does fall down. Now got tier three being researched by... Has been researched by both of the blue players. The Devon's Recession does have plenty of red points to bring in the nuke. The teammate does not. Both of blue players have decent amount, very similar amount as well. Teleports right there. And we do have a Watermark Razorback on the field. Very nice. Watermark Razorback getting some volleys out of the Rhino now. Let's get a stun a snare grenade there. Second squad does teleport to the rear armor of the Baltimore Razorback. Baltimore Razorback should be able to deal with the Rhino. But it's taking part of the damage, damage in return. As there's a smoke grenade there. It decides to fall back now. Left chain for Cannon gets some repairs. So Cannon's the first of the there. Does teleport forward trying to take out the Vindicare Assassin. Little Chosen Plague Marines and Chaos Marines now push way forward. Finding some Gene Sealers in the... Lecter Alpha, while those in the mix as well. Now we do have the Exo Assassin receiving quite a bit of damage right here. Mortimer Race back gives good damage there onto the Rhino. The Rhino does throw a smoke grenade now. Those stormtroopers seeing the sending the damage there onto the Esso Assassin, but still has plenty of health. Another round of being poor field, like they'll be upgraded to the last cannon. Parking the squad will still be useful. Look to Alpha now getting eaten up there. Left Alpha may go down, but looks like he will skip onto there. Baltimore Razor will be forward. And these four are following him back. A chain pushing me forward. Maybe I'll get a blight grenade here. In some slices, I hear the Baltimore Razor back engaged by the Perkton squad. Rhino does go down. Got blasted with the other. Rhino, Perkin Squad does fall back. Got these more stuff in melee, keep receiving a lot of damage, a lot of health for Jen. Noxious Cloud has now been pulled in the field. Chosen Plague Marines charging forward, may get some good damage here. The Noxious Cloud could pursue these guys all the way back home. Does fall back now. Noxious is now trying to hack apart the Rhino. You know how to teleport forward as well. These forces do fall back there. Red has over a whole little area. Blue's running very low in VPs. You know, if they even feel like they are doing quite good in combat, they need to get a point D captured immediately. So I hack apart this capillary tower. Capillary tower. Try to capture this point now. Does get the central point deep captured or not decaptured? One has to be captured there. Exo Assassin does fall back to Exo Assassin there. This Watermark Razorback see quite a bit of damage there. Needs to fall back, get some repairs. And the Watermark Razorback can advance the board. Just sort of getting tied up in right there, but just also very low health as well. Dies, divert his fire there. Perfect spawn trying to find a shot there. Does get one of the Watermark Razorbacks. Convergent Beamer does get tied up in melee, and now we've got the Interceptor Squad against some good damage as well. We got a Nurgle variant, which is an uh, anti-anti-melee. 
more like an anti-melee one. It does get a lot less damage uh, from melee attacks. It does also have some plague shells as well. It gives good damage over effect uh, attacks. Right on, it's gonna hit there. Like uh, Chaos Nurgle variant also does get a bit of health regen as well as increase max health. Let's find a decent shot there on to those Quizor Stone Troopers. And Blue does lose the uh, BP game. This is Anne Great saying, thank you for watching and on to next replay.